Don't ever take kindness for weakness. That being said, be shocked. But be ready. Don't think that because I'm sensitive, I won't beat your ass. Uh, quite the contrary, I will fuck you up and then cry about it later. I might break out into tears while I'm beating your ass. Oh, why the fuck you making me beat your ass, bitch? I'll beat your ass for The ghost that she left behind here She left behind here She left behind here Let's talk about Class 1A versus Deku by the way, this video will contain manga spoilers for My Hero Academia. Basically, we are about to get what a lot of us have wanted for a very long time, and that is Deku vs. Class 1A. Basically, in this chapter, Class 1A goes to confront Deku because they're trying to get him to go back to UA after he left. Deku tries telling them that they shouldn't worry about him, and Bakugo just starts talking trash to Deku. Then Aaron Yeager, I mean Deku, says he needs to keep moving forward for people to live in peace. Then he goes on to tell all of Class 1A to get out of his way. Bakugo continues to talk trash and Ida declares that they're about to fight. So who do I predict is going to win right now? Well, under normal circumstances, it would easily be Deku. But this guy is so exhausted right now. I mean, look at him. He hasn't slept nor ate in days. So it's gonna be an extremely tough battle for Deku to fight all of Class 1A by himself. But it would be kind of lame if Deku's whole resolve just ended in 5 chapters. So I believe that in this fight, Deku's gonna forcefully unlock the last quirk of One for All, which is gonna allow him to win. If that doesn't happen, then Class 1A is definitely going to be the victors of this fight. Don't think that. The ghost that she left behind. Let's talk about Class 1A versus Deku.